In today's episode, we will see Jeb and Bob arriving at Duna. Look at this, in their beautiful craft that we have launched in the previous episode. Isn't it glorious? Isn't it magnificent? Yeah, all right. So, the way I see it, we will be doing that. But first, we need to actually launch them. So, Jeb and Bob, you are closing on your maneuver node, which the burn to eject us will be starting right now. It's a total of 950 meters per second burn, and you have currently 1.2 thousand meters per second in the current stage, which is more than enough to push you all the way to Duna. There we go. We are ejecting and, okay, careful now. 10 more meters per second just to secure an intercept. And there we go. Beautiful. So we want to select Duna as target. And it doesn't allow me to select Duna as target. Doesn't matter. Let's go and let's, uh, our controls are to Kerbin. We were gonna target Kerbin from here as well. And then we're gonna be ejecting. So there we go. And <clears throat> let's enjoy together this beautiful cinematic. Oh, right. Oh, by the way, I have installed the science alert, which means we will be getting a lot of the science alert pop-ups saying, oh, you have some science, you have some science. Yeah, sorry about that, but uh, it, it is a little bit of inconvenience that it constantly pops up, but then again, you wouldn't be missing a lot of good science, which you need to obviously do. So, no experiments available. Oh, gravity scan high above Kerbin's mountains. Apparently, we have not done that. Okay, let's, cl let's put this on hold and let's see if there are any more science that pop ups. Oh, there was one. Apparently, I need to be more careful. However, <clears throat> then the second thing that we need to do, we need to get out of the Kerbin sphere of influence and then we need to do some final maneuvers. So there we go. There is, we have finally gotten out of the Kerbin sphere of influence. So we're doing some EVA reports. We're doing the crew report. We're going to do the EVA. Well, we don't have the EVA science experiments. I didn't take my golf club with me. Dang it. All right. Doesn't matter. We're going to do the mystery goo and the materials based study. Normally these experiments would actually bring me a lot of science, but I'm currently not doing it because, well, I'm actually doing them, but I'm not going to send them out. I would rather return them back. So that's the whole reason behind this round trip to Duna. Right. So let's select Duna as the target. I'm going to select a maneuver node and then I will be selecting Duna here. So now we're going to do a fine tweaking. And this, guys, is something that's missing currently in KSP2. This fine fiddlage, which makes actual interplanetary transfers very difficult in KSP2. Devs, if you're watching, we need, we need this maneuver planner. I'm not talking about the Kerbal alarm clock or anything else. I'm just talking about the stock maneuver, precise maneuver planner. So, yeah. Okay, let's get back to our vessel. All right, and let us do the, <clears throat> as you see, the Jewel Mega Explorer has already gone. And that one we have, I have actually a separate video about. I did an ejection because it was coming before, but I haven't shown it to you because I would really like to have it eject and arrive at Jewel. So that's what I will be posting in the later video. Thrust limiter, we're gonna put it to 0.5 because I really want to make a really, really accurate burn. So I'm heavily limiting my ability to do thrust. Electricity running out, why? Okay, shall we place it like this? Oh, electric charge is full, okay. Got me worried there for a sec. I mean, I placed two Gigantor panels, that should be more than enough. So the electricity shouldn't be running out at any point. <clears throat> All right, we are coming up on our maneuver node and then we're going to be doing tiny burn, but that will hopefully bring us into very nice alignment with Duna. Where is Duna? There we go. Just making sure that I can see what's being done here. And the maneuver node will be starting in 30 seconds. So I have to be really careful here. These are teeny tiny maneuvers that have huge impact. There we go. And... Yeah, stop. Good. Okay, perfect. 
that is good enough. So uh, the next item of business would be go all the way to Duna. So that's my plan. So let us accelerate the time warp until we get to Duna. And as you can tell, there are three ships en route. As I said, small probe, large probe, or the probe carrier, and our crew of Jebediah and Bob. So the whole point is that we use the transfer window and then we do all that crazy stuff. All right, so we should be by now <coughs> arriving to Duna. So let me just quickly check. Science alert, yeah, there we go. Look at that temperature scan. We're gonna send it out. RPWS, we're gonna send that out. Magnetometer, we're gonna send that. So those that I can send without the loss of data, I will send. Irradiance scan, send it. Gravity scan, send it. Crew report, send it. Atmospheric pressure scan, send it. Then I'm gonna go with the EVA report. Bob, what do you see? 42 science, perfect. We will place this there and mystery goo, contain, mystery goo, contain, and we're gonna collect everything in our science container. So now what we're gonna do, we are gonna be resetting the science experiments. So. Uh, restore the science junior restore and Bob get back in there. So let us continue with our arrival towards Duna Note that I have my science alert turned on because it will be popping up so many times So now we're gonna make us the next maneuver node Which is gonna be putting us in the circular orbit around Duna It doesn't need to be exactly circular It can be actually high elliptical so that we do a flyby of Ike as well. I mean, why not? I mean, we'll collect some extra science, so yeah, I can only see that being a good thing. So we're gonna make the insertion burn here, two minutes to go, and then let's go and ins raise the thrust limiter because it's, it's a hefty burn, it's 352 meters per second. We still have enough fuel in this stage to perform it, so that's good. And once we're done, we're probably gonna be ditching that stage, so. Let us just make a very nice alignment and then we're going to be enjoying the cinematic approach to Duna. By the way, I have installed, you know, this volumetric clouds and I have parallax uh, and Duna looks amazing like that. But uh, honestly, in KSP, I'm starting to grow or actually Duna in KSP2 grows on me kind of. So yeah, okay, there are more science and I think it's mainly Gravioli that's popping up because that one is biome specific. So that's the whole reason why I'm doing constantly, you know, spamming science, 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 yeah. And the boys in the lab will greatly appreciate a metric crap ton of science that we can actually use later on. So why not? All right, here are we coming closer to Duna. Beautiful arrival. Oh, glorious. There we go. <clears throat> you see, here's the fact. It looks beautiful, but you don't see very distinct features on top of Duna. And that's something that once you see in KSP2, well, you can no longer unsee it. <laughs> yeah, all right. And hi, Ike. There's Ike as well. Beautiful. So <clears throat> we're going to do our 352 meters per second burn. And that's going to be happening in 15 seconds. We just got to be sure that we are correctly aligned and let's burn. All right. And I think a little more. It has to be exactly right. Okay, good. 0 0.1. Well, I think that's good enough. Do we have an icon counter? We do. And we're going to do a quick flyby. Good. I don't need to do Kerbin high, or, you know, Ike low, Ike high. I don't care about that. I just care about making sure that we pass by Ike and, you know, grab ourselves some science. Okay, gravity scan. Thank you. So, sphere of influence will be changing in four hours. And you see the other crafts, the Duna Explorer, and the large Duna Explorer will be arriving to Duna in three, four days. So I think it's good that they're so spread apart. That gives me a chance to do some, you know, experiments. Okay, there we go. And wait. Are we entering Ike's sphere of influence? God, I hope so. Okay, here we are. 
I'm just waiting for my science alert to go nuts. And there it goes. Okay. Let's do science. Temperature scan, RPWS scan, irradiance scan, gravity scan, crew report, atmospheric pressure scan, can mystery view, yes. Materials study, yes. And we're gonna collect all the science and then we're gonna be resetting the experiments and do the EVA report. Beautiful. Reset, restore the science. Okay, let's go in and board. So that was a lot of science. So I'm gonna just continue onwards and see if there is any more. And then we're gonna be making sure that we get into the circular orbit around Duna. Okay, let's transmit this experiment. Good, anything else? Not really. Okay, we are back at Duna. Fine. So the next order of business is to make sure that we go basically circularize. Okay. So I'm gonna place myself something like this. All right, Jebediah and Bob. I just want to lower my periapsis a little bit. I'm thinking around 80-ish kilometers is good enough. And then we're gonna be making sure that we take a maneuver node that will be placing us in 80 by 80 kilometer orbit. All right. Queuing up the maneuver, the circularization maneuver will be happening in one hour and 55 minutes. And during that time, we can actually make some cool selfies, hopefully. What do you think, Jeb and Bob? Do we make some selfies? I certainly hope so. Okay, so let's do a cinematic flyby of Duna. Look how gorgeous Duna looks like. Okie doke. Oh, wait, shall we take a Kerbal out? Bob, you go out and make a selfie. You know you want to. Come on, buddy. There we go. And there we go. This is this glory shot that you saw at the beginning of this episode. Yes, I deliver. All right. So, Bob, that's enough faffing around. Take the cool selfie and look how Duna looks when you're looking at it freely. And then go back into the capsule, please. And we show you will be coming a part of the space station. All right. Good. So the next order of business will be the ejection burn, or sorry, orbital insertion burn. Oh, wait, and we are at Duna Low, so science time, yes. Okay, we are brimming with science. I'm just capturing as much science as I quickly can. Good, material is good. Study, crew report, crew report, EVA report, there we go. Okay, and then we should collect all science into the science container and restore the experiments just in case anything goes awry. All right, gravity scan, crew report. Those are both uh, actually biome dependent. So I'm just making sure that everything is transmitted. Okay, no more experiments available. Good, and the burn will be in two minutes and 35 seconds. This is so such a busy episode, isn't it? I don't know, feels like I'm just spamming science all along. Okay. There we go. Beautiful. So let's get ready. The burn will be in 50, 30 seconds. Let's say 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, ignition. There we go. Ditch the fan. And then finally the second stage kicks in. <laughs> or not the second, maybe I think it's the third one to be honest, but who cares? Let's just do our reports and make sure that we collect everything. Good. We need to collect all the data, crew report. Just doing some minor corrections to get our epoapsis and periapsis roughly in the same ballpark, so to say. Then we're gonna be orienting normal prograde. There we go. I mean, the Kerbals do want to have be going up and down and have the ability to have this beautiful view. Okay, we're going to be ditching the available experiments, container unit, and we're going to queue our next burn to Kerbin because that's going to be happening in three years and 204 days. So just making sure that I do send out the experiments that will actually that don't have a loss. So I'm making sure that those are being sent and everything else we will be returning manually. Good. See? That's a lot of science that I'm transmitting over there. 
Good thing that we brought broadband with us. All right. Okay, guys, so I think something like this visualization. There we go. Current orbit, start window timing, maneuver tool is okay. We're gonna keep all of the experiments and then we're gonna take a cool selfie. Okay, add another one. Duna crew ship. That's gonna be happening in three years. All right, but uh, that's it, guys. So I hope you liked today's episode. Fling a like and I'll see you in the next one.